Brilliant. Brilliant. How distracting is the whole uh, Ken's case and um, yeah. what's your reaction to now it's all over? Yeah, look, it was, um, you know, it's obviously a pretty big deal in, uh, in New Zealand cricket, but I think now that it is all over, it's um, certainly time to move on. And from my point of view as well, I'm very comfortable with um, the evidence that I gave uh, in London. Um, but as I say, it's, it's now time to move on. Was it coming at a distracting time? Or was it never quite a, never a good time uh, in the cricket schedule these days? Uh, well, the cricket schedule is always busy, but um, yeah, look, it, was, it was obviously, I knew it was going on. Um, but there's certainly no excuse for uh, for any any uh, probably rough performances or uh, or, or um, you know the fact that maybe didn't get as many runs as we like. That's the game that we play sometimes, and yeah, very much moving on now. I'm looking forward to this race. Chris, can you publicly ask why you testified? Is there an answer to why you did testify? No, look again. I, I was very comfortable with the evidence that I gave, and I stand by that evidence as well. Um, this isn't the forum to. To dive into those sorts of uh, those sorts of discussions, um, it was for the courtroom in London, and that's where it took place. So, as I say, it's kind of involved. If Modi takes a case, are you going to appear? Oh, well, it's speculation. Um, again, this uh, this is again not the forum to, to be discussing this uh, that sort of thing. We'll see what happens down the line. New Zealand cricket has come out and said that as an employee, they protect you from mm. harassment. Have you been harassed by anybody since the verdict? You blokes for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> been at my house and all that sort of stuff, but no, well, it's not too bad. And I guess that's the that's the nature of living in a small country as well. That you know most people here, so you're going to run into them occasionally too. How do you feel having your reputation uh, touched by going through a process like this? But do you feel your reputation has been uh, hit in any way? No, look, I don't think my reputation's um, been on the line during the whole thing. I think I was one of a number of witnesses um, who, uh, who gave evidence in the trial and um, you know, people are going to have their own opinions on what unfolded but yeah, I was comfortable with it and, uh, and as I say, I think it is time to, to move on and focus on a bit of cricket now as well. Brother, can you, can you tell us what your immediate reaction was when you heard the verdict? Um, yeah, I didn't hear it for a while to be honest. I, was, um, I just got back from, uh, from Australia but yeah, it, for me, that wasn't. It's not about whether someone's guilty or not guilty. It was my my role was to go and give the evidence in, in the trial, and, and that's what I did. And, and remain pretty unemotional about it, to be honest. Can you privately were you making an explanation or giving Ken's an explanation for your actions or take? No, I don't. I don't think I need to.